Jones Creek Campground. Looks like it's closed right now. First campsite to the left has an electric hookup, so camp host site. It's actually closed for the season. Not sure what this is. No firewood. Parking. Here's. Guess this is parking for the walk in tent sites. Garbage area. Here's some information. Here's the main camping loop, the drive in a car camping area. So we're going to go A loop first. Must be a huge campground. Here's the pay station information board. There's A1. Nice parking area. Not huge around the picnic table, but it's um it's decent size. Picking table's in good shape. There's, here's the camp host just across from A1. With electric hookups. A2. Nice long back end parking. Nice area around the picnic table, too. Picnic table's in good shape. Get a little bit of the stream noise here so you can't hear the highway noise as much. You're pretty close to the stream. It's just down this hill behind the campsite. Then A3. A3 has a nice long back end parking area. Nice flat area around the picnic table. Picnic table's good. Vault toilet across from A3. A4. A4 has nice long back end parking, really flat around the picnic table area. This is pretty nice. Nice campsite here. A5. A5 has a really long back end parking area. Nice flat area for a tent. Decent size, picnic tables, good shape. Fire ring's nicely located. A6. A6 has a huge back end parking area. A few nice flat areas for tents, picnic tables, good. This one's pretty nice. Nice view in the back, nothing behind you. Six is nice. A6, there's a stop sign. So I'm gonna take a left. There's, looks like a pump style water spigot. And then A7. A7's, it kind of, it's medium sized parking here. Not real big, but it's, it's okay. It's definitely a usable site. Um, picnic table's in good shape. It's just right here at this intersection with B-Loop. 
I think that's it for A. Okay, I'm gonna continue around the B loop. A loop ends just up here to the right, and then just before you get there, B loop one way. B1. Decent size parking. Yeah, pretty big area around the picnic table. It's close to the uh, firewood shack, which is just behind it here. Purchase firewood there. Picnic table's nice. B2, just across from B1. B2 has long back end parking. Area around the picnic table is not so flat. It'd be a little, a little tougher to get a tent in here, but looks like it'd be possible. Or maybe here. Picnic table's nice. B3. B3. Medium sized parking. You could probably back a trailer in here. Big area uh, around the picnic table. Picnic tables. Got a couple little divots out of it, but it's still pretty good. B4. B4 is a uh, nice wide parking area. Nice big area for a tent here. It's pretty, pretty big area. Looks like it's in pretty good shape too. And B4 is not bad. Picnic table is nice. And then here's another vault toilet. B5. Nice parking. Looks um, so like you could uh, fit car side by side in here, a trailer and a car. Nice big area. A couple of rotten trees. Looks like they took care of that though. Huge area in the back. The B5 is pretty huge. B6. This B6 has both of parking. Nice area for a tent. Picnic table needs a little work. But not bad. And B7. That one's got really long back-end parking, huge parking area. Decent area for a tent. It's like a gopher or a mole problem here. Lots of little mounds everywhere. But a nice area. B8. It has a wide, long parking area. Nice big area. It's, uh, it's flat in the back, so probably a good place for a tent. Good picnic table. Looks like we're getting close to the highway here. A lot more highway noise. B9. B9 has pretty big parking area. Nice big area. Kent's got a small spot out of it, but not, not bad. It's it's in pretty good shape otherwise. B10. B10 has a very huge parking area. Get a really big trailer in here, RV, anything. 
Nice picnic table, big flat area for a tent. V11. And it's got nice parking. Looks like that may be the day use area or something just behind it. It's a trail over there. Uh, nice big flat area for a tent. Picnic table's in good shape. It's pretty nice. B12. B12's probably a small trailer here. It's, the parking's not very long. Tent's in good shape. I'm mean, sorry, the picnic table's in good shape. And the uh, tent area is pretty big and flat. And then 13. Thirteen is kind of a small parking area. You could probably fit a trailer in here, but small one. Nice flat area for a tent. Picnic tables in really good shape. And then fourteen. Fourteen's a pretty big parking area. You can fit a nice size trailer and a car probably beside it. It's pretty big. Picking tables in good shape. Nice big area for a tent behind it. B15. B15 has decent size back end parking. Nice flat area for a tent. Good picnic table. Just next to the vault toilet. And then 16. Sixteen has nice wide long back end parking. Nice picnic table. Nice big flat area for a tent or two. Huge. B17. Medium sized parking. Probably back a trailer in here. Um, but nothing. Nothing really long. Picnic tables, a couple little divots out of it, but it's in reasonably good shape. Nice big flat area for a tent. And then B18. Decent size back end parking. The lengths of the parking are probably listed on the website. Nice picnic table. Yeah, a little bit, the, the area in the back is almost flat, a little sloped. It'd probably be okay for a tent. And then B19 is the last campsite on the B loop. This exit is here. Ah, decent size back end parking. Fit a nice size trailer in there. Huge area around the picnic table. Picnic table is really good shape. Huge flat area. So you. I go past the B loop entrance and exit and the A loop exit and it takes you down the hill closer to the river to C loop. C loop is just next to the river here. C1 or the C loops is a little lower closer to the river than the A and B loops. Here's C1. C1 
You want decent sized parking. Uh, maybe tent would work here. Picnic tables looks like it's in good shape. C2. C2. Parking's not so good at C2, but it does have a nice big flat area for a tent, picnic table. Needs a little work. And this looks like a group campsite just past C2. size picnic table, little sitting area. Nice access to the stream, creek, whatever this is. Oh, nice, very nice. It's like maybe three or four cars would fit here. I'm not sure what the group size is. And this is reservations required. Here's the uh, vault toilet for the seat loop. Sea loop is nice because it's close to the, the river, but it's also close to the, um, the highway six 